Heat flow calorimetry allows scientists to measure the heat of a chemical reaction while the process temperature, typically the reaction mass temperature, remains at the set value. Usually, a double-walled reactor is used in which the desired reaction is carried out under or near process-like conditions. The heat flow principle follows the concept of measuring the driving force, delta T, which is the temperature difference between the temperature of the reaction mass, TR, and the surrounding temperature, Tj, as delta T is a measure for the power of the reaction. When reactants are converted into product, heat is released in most cases. In order to remove the heat produced by the chemical reaction efficiently and to maintain the temperature at its desired set value, the temperature of the surrounding media needs to be adjusted accordingly, forcing the released energy to flow across the reactor wall into the heat transfer media. The trend of the temperature difference is an indicator for the reaction progress. Knowing the heat transfer area and the heat transfer coefficient, the driving force, delta T, can be converted into heat flow in watts. Because the heat transfer coefficient and the wetted area may change in the course of the reaction, the conversion factor occasionally needs to be determined when the properties of the reaction mass are changing. This is done preferably before and after the reaction. To determine the conversion factor U times A, the Mettler Toledo reaction calorimeters RC1MX, EasyMax HF Cal, and OptiMax HF Cal use a small electrical heater that introduces a certain amount of heat into the system under isothermal conditions. Subsequently, the response of the system is measured, which then allows the conversion factor and the overall heat transfer coefficient to be calculated. With this information, the heat flow is an easy calculation and is the basis for all chemical process development projects, process scale-up, and process safety investigations. It enables the determination of the heat release rate of a reaction, but also the computation of critical thermodynamic information, such as the adiabatic temperature rise or the maximum temperature of the synthesis reaction. With this information in mind, the criticality and severity of a reaction can be assessed and the worst case scenario can be predicted. With an in-depth understanding of the process and its risks, dangerous situations and runaway reactions can be avoided, ensuring an efficient and safe process scale-up, but also safe operation at large scale. To learn more, go to mt.com rc1.